Absorbent spectrophotometry is a versatile technique. Use it as a qualitative tool for identifying chemical substances, or use it as a quantitative tool to measure the concentration of matter in solutions. In this video, we'll demonstrate the basics of qualitative absorbance measurements using SpectraSuite software. For this demonstration, we'll be measuring the absorbance of acetone. Acetone is a great sample to analyze because of its distinct absorbance features. Here's the equipment we'll use. A USB 4000 UV-Vis spectrometer from Ocean Optics. Our light source is the DH2000BAL. It combines the output of deuterium and tungsten halogen sources in a single optical path from 215 to 2000 nanometers. A power cord and UV protective glasses are also included. Because acetone absorbs in the UV range, we'll load our sample in a 1 cm path length quartz cuvette. We use quartz because it transmits UV light. The cuvette will fit into our CUV-ALL cuvette holder. The holder has collimating lenses that couple to optical fibers for straight through absorbance measurements as well as for scattering or fluorescence measurements. We'll also use two 400 micron optical fibers. One will transmit light from the light source to the sample. The other will transmit light from the sample to the spectrometer. We're using UV-Vis fibers here, but solarization resistant fibers are also very effective for applications below 300 nanometers. With SpectraSuite installed and the light source plugged in, we'll start by connecting the first optical fiber to the light source. Lift the cap on the front of the source to expose the connector and then attach the fiber. The other end of the fiber attaches to one of the collimators on the cuvette holder. Attach the second fiber to the entrance aperture of your spectrometer. Connect the unattached end of the second fiber to the collimator directly across from where your first fiber is attached. The idea is to create a straight path for the light to transmit through the sample. Now connect the spectrometer to your computer using the USB cable, and we're ready to start SpectraSuite. Once the software is loaded, we'll power up the light source. Flip the power button on the back of the light source to turn on the unit. On the front of the unit, the green power LED will illuminate. Now put on the protective glasses that came with your light source. Safety glasses will protect your eyes from the UV output of the deuterium source. Turn on both the deuterium and tungsten halogen bulbs. Press the blue button for deuterium and the red button for tungsten halogen. The deuterium blinks for a few seconds due to a gradual ramping of the voltage. Once both bulbs are at full power, the LED indicators below the buttons will stay solid. With both of the bulbs powered, you can now open the shutter by clicking the toggle switch into the far left or open position. Use the toggle switch for manual control of the light source. You should hear the click of the magnetic shutter when you throw the switch. It usually takes between 20 and 30 minutes for the light source to warm up completely, but let's just jump ahead to the next step. Insert an empty quartz cuvette into the cuvette holder. This will be our reference for the absorbance measurement. This is sometimes called the blank. We will be working in a processing mode of SpectraSuite. Processing modes are where you make absorbance, transmission, reflection, and irradiance measurements. There are two ways to use a processing mode. The first method uses the absorbance wizard. To start the absorbance wizard, click on File and then New, and then Absorbance Measurement. This is the menu item with the blue A next to it. Select Source, in this case, the USB 4000 UV-Vis spectrometer, then click Next. We're now at the Set Acquisition Parameters Wizard window. This function allows you to optimize spectrometer settings for best results. Click on the Set Automatically button. This will determine the ideal integration time for this experiment. Now that integration time is set, 
Let's add some scans to average. We're using 10 scans to average to improve the signal to noise ratio. To smooth the signal, use a boxcar width of 2. Now click Next. We are now in the Store Reference Spectrum Wizard window. Since we are manually controlling the light source with the toggle switch, we do not need to click the Strobe Lamp Enable checkbox. Now make sure that your reference, the empty cuvette, is in the cuvette holder and the light source shutter is open. Click on the yellow light bulb button to store the reference. Once the reference is stored, a preview of the spectrum is shown in the Reference Spectrum Preview pane. Now click Next. This is the Stored Dark Spectrum Wizard. Move the shutter switch to the middle or closed position and then click the gray light bulb button to store the dark spectrum. Once you have stored the dark, you'll see a preview of it in the dark spectrum preview pane. After storing the dark, move the shutter switch to the open position and click finish to exit the wizard. We're now back at the main spectra suite window. Here you'll see a new graph showing zero absorbance. This is graph B. It's showing zero absorbance because it's measuring our reference, which is blank. It's time to prepare our acetone sample for measurement. Using a disposable pipette, we'll fill the blank cuvette with the acetone. We recommend that cuvettes always be used in the same orientation. And take care not to touch the cuvette's optical surfaces. Oils from your skin and other contaminants can affect absorbance readings. As the cuvette is filled, note the absorbance spectrum. It has spectral features comparable to a high-pass filter. We'll pause the experiment here so we can show you how to make an absorbance measurement without using the absorbance wizard. Click the Pause Selected Acquisition button in the Acquisition Controls toolbar. You may have to click the graph to activate these controls. We're now ready for our second method. Click on the Graph A tab in the Graph pane. Now click the Acquisition Parameters in the Data Sources pane. This will ensure that we are adjusting the Acquisition Parameters for Graph A and activating the Acquisition and Acquisition Controls toolbars. In the Acquisition toolbar, set integration time to 35 milliseconds, use 10 scans to average, and set a boxcar width of 2. Place a blank cuvette in the cuvette holder. This will be our reference. Make certain that the shutter on the light source is open. The switch should be flipped to the left. Click the yellow light bulb button to store the reference spectrum. Flip the toggle switch on the front of the light source to the middle or closed position to close the shutter. With the shutter closed, click the gray light bulb button. This will store your dark spectrum. Now that we've stored a reference spectrum and a dark spectrum, the processing mode icons will turn blue to indicate that they are active. Click on the letter A for absorbance mode. With the blank reference cuvette in the holder, you should see a spectrum with zero absorbance, just as you did in the absorbance wizard. Add acetone to the cuvette as you did earlier, and now you will see an absorbance spectrum similar to the one obtained using the wizard. To verify this, toggle between the Graph A and Graph B tabs and see how the spectra compare. These steps should get you started with basic absorbance measurements. In future videos, we'll cover areas such as Beer's Law, sample preparation, and alternatives to cuvette holders for sample collection. For more information, please be sure to visit us online at oceanoptics.com. You can also contact us via email at info at oceanoptics.com.